If you're a Texas landowner and you're interested in improving the quality of the genetics on your ranch, you can contact me at DeerAndWildlifeStories.com. As a deer hunter, I want to know all I can about America's favorite big game animal. That's why I became a deer farmer. Without deer farms, we lose our greatest resource for research and whitetail management. With them, we gain more knowledge than ever before. Join me as we discover the truth about whitetails and meet those who work every day to preserve this great species for future generations. My name is Keith Warren, and this is Deer and Wildlife Stories. Hey everybody, welcome to the show and to the beautiful state of Florida, where we're gonna start out today in the Sunshine State introducing you to a friend of mine. His name is Mike Mansfield. Mike has become a mentor in the deer farming business. And then we're gonna hop up to Missouri. I'll introduce you to another mentor who set people up all over the country in the deer farming industry. You know, we've been doing Deer and Wildlife Stories now for 10 seasons. This is the 11th season that we're filming for right now. And I've known Mike Mansfield since we started. Uh, Mike was really just kind of getting started in the deer industry back uh, years ago. And so the cool thing about watching Mike as he's kind of matured in the deer farming industry is he's actually become a mentor. He is helping a lot of people get involved in deer farming. We had an opportunity to go visit a farm just down the road. This is a relatively new deer farmer, and he has a giant buck. And while uh, we were filming the big buck, I had an opportunity to visit with the deer farmer's wife to find out what she thinks about Mike. Hi, my name is Susan, and my husband Ian and I have a small deer farm in Florida. And one of the things that we have really, really, truly, truly appreciated um, are friends and people who have a whole lot more of experience than we have. Um, Mike and Sammy, Chad and Kim have been very, very helpful in um, mentoring us, uh, encouraging us, encouraging us, encouraging us to keep, uh, to keep on keeping on. We, uh, we have a, a very special buck to my husband Ian. Um, he is a two-year-old buck. His name is Dream Boy. He is majestic. We're really, really excited about him. Uh, not a day goes by that we don't talk about Dream Boy and, and go take a look at him. Our farm is located in LaBelle, Florida. This is about 30 minutes east of Fort Myers, Florida. We're located on 15 acres uh, in Hendry County. We have approximately 120 deer on the farm. Uh, we work the farm from sunup to sundown seven days a week. Uh, we enjoy what we do. We enjoy being around them. It's a lifestyle. It's a business and it's a lifestyle. It's one that we just enjoy too much for words. I've been in the business here in Florida, the deer business here in Florida for seven years. I've been around the deer business most of my life, but involved in it for the past 14 years. Um, I'd really like to help you out. If you have interest in this business, give me a call. If you have interest in the deer, give me a call. If you look at Mike's farm, this is really, a, it's a rural piece of property, but it's kind of a neighborhood. I mean, there's a highway right back behind us here and county road over here and lots of people with horses and cattle. And here comes a truck right down the road here. And the, the cool thing is he's a very successful deer farmer out here and if not in the country. And so if you've got a rural piece of property that may have a county road and neighbors and all, it's still probably a really good place to have a deer farm. The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you in part by Record Rack Deer and Elk Feeds. All right, on this show, we're gonna introduce you to what I call deer farming mentors. And uh, this is my friend, Mike Mansfield. We are down in Florida right now, but on the program, what we're gonna do, introduce you to two mentors that uh, actually, we're gonna introduce you to Mike's mentor too, later on. All right, 
Mike has been in Florida on this particular deer farm for how long? And tell them how you got into deer farming business. <laughs> been here, Keith, about seven years. We bought it, bought the farm just for the deer farm. Um, my best friend and mentor that you're going to meet later on is Kevin Grace. We've grown up since we were three years old across the street. That's what brought me into the deer business portion. What got me looking at it and paying attention to Kevin is my passion for the deer. Okay, now we're going to show you these deer right here out in front of us right now. These are some beautiful, beautiful deer. Keep in mind, folks, this is Florida, and Florida's not known for having, having big deer, number one. But these deer did not originate in Florida. Tell them where they came from and tell them what your goal is here. We bought our uh, original does, Keith, out of South Texas. Uh, brought in nine, ten original does for the heat factor, the insect factor, the survivability of the deer. Doesn't do a lot of good to raise a lot of big deer if you can't keep them alive. And so with these bucks that you're seeing out here, you've got uh, three different colored tags. Talk about what the tags represent, what color? The white tags over there, Keith, there's only five in here. They're yearlings. Mm -hmm. They're a year and a half old, long yearlings, we call them. Mm -hmm. Two and a half year olds are blue, and I'll have one yellow tag back in here. That, that may be him over there. Yep. Um, that is him. He's three. Okay. He's All right. And, and what you're going to see looking at these deer is that they're pretty deer, especially if you're a, if you're a, a guy that's watching deer and wildlife stories a lot, you see a lot of big, non-typical deer. That is not what Mike is trying to grow here. No. Tell him the reason why. Keith, we, uh, we're looking for the shock factor. We want a typical deer that looks like a white-tailed deer. Okay, now I'm gonna interrupt you and say, Mike has been doing this now. You've been in the deer industry for 13 years. 13 years. Okay, 13 and, years. and during that time, he had to have a mentor. He had to have somebody help him out. But uh, now Mike is at that point in his life that he's helping people out. He is actually a deer farming mentor down here in Florida. But how do you get started? Who do you talk to? Mike Mansfield is a deer farming mentor. Tell him what you do. Keith, we've started a little group in here. They're clients that have become friends, so to speak. Um, we call it Team HX. We will help you get started. You don't know what you don't know, so ask somebody that does know. Let's get you started right. It should be fun. It's supposed well, to be fun. It, it, it is fun when you do it right. And what we're going to do is on today's program, we're going to introduce you to a couple of people that Mike has mentored. My name is Chad Easley. My wife and I own KC Whitetails in Mims, Florida. In the four years that I've been in this, I've built a very strong relationship with Mike Mansfield. He will go out of his way above and beyond to help all new deer farmers. You won't find somebody as dedicated to you and as genuine of an individual as Mike Mansfield. Mike, well, Mike is a, a really good guy. He's a friendly guy. You know, he's smart as he can be. And uh, he's one of the most helpful guys that I know as far as helping other people with deer farming. He's smart about pedigrees. He's smart about animal husbandry and what you need to do in order to keep them healthy and grow them big. He's smart about helping people make money in the deer industry. And all around, Mike is just a good guy. I want to talk about deer in general. Deer in general, aren't they therapeutic? Absolutely, Keith. One of the things that got me started into the deer business was just having deer in the backyard. I've hunted deer, I've had a passion for them, I've been mad at them when I was young, you know, like we all were. Yep. Um, two weeks out of the year, we chased them as hard as we could go. We lived our whole year waiting for that two weeks. I wanted them longer than that. And um, you've been successful doing it, and you're helping other people be successful doing it too. So give them a phone number if you're interested in learning more about Mike Mansfield, and mentoring that he provides down here to help you get started deer farming. And you may not even wind up getting in the deer farming business. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mike loves white-tailed deer and he loves helping people. Give him your phone number. It's area code 239-851-6864. So if you're interested in the deer farming business and you live right here in the Sunshine State, all you've got to do is just pick up the phone, call Mike, and he can put you in touch with any of these other people around that can uh, vouch for me, vouch for Mike, that hey, this is the right thing to do. Find a mentor that's going to help you be successful. But look at these pretty deer. I think they are gorgeous. They just, man, you knock it out of the park all the time. It's like you're so <laughs> modest. It's just, they are always so pretty. If you're watching this show right now and interested in getting into deer business, um, the best piece of advice I could give you is don't compromise in quality. If you're going to be a car collector, you're not going to get 54 Yugos. You're going to get one Rolls Royce. Over the last 10 years, Mike Mansfield has become a mentor to lots of people getting started in the deer farming industry right here in Florida. Coming up, we'll introduce you to Mike Mansfield's deer mentor that he's known since grade school. If you're in Texas and interested in becoming a deer farmer, you can contact me for deer farming franchise opportunities right here in Texas 
at DeerAndWildlifeStories.com. Okay, so we were in Florida and we introduced you to Mike and we told you that he had a mentor in the deer farming industry. Right now, we're in Missouri and we'll introduce you to the guy that helped get Mike started, but he's also helped lots of other folks get started in the deer farming industry. My name is Kevin Grace. I'm located in Eldon, Missouri. I have over 500 head of deer here and I've been in the business for over 25 years. Whitetail Sales and Service is a full consulting firm and deer farm. We not only help people get into deer farming, we manage them and consult them all the way through. That is one of the things that we offer through Whitetail Sales and Service. Truthfully, I don't know if even Kevin could tell you how many people he's helped uh, to get started in the deer farming industry. He's been doing it for that long. Uh, we've helped numerous, well over hundreds and hundreds of people have gotten into the deer farming business through our consulting, through our help, through our programs that we offer out there, especially our auction business. I know when I got started in the deer farming industry, a resource that I counted on was Kevin Grace. And Kevin was able to point me in the right direction to get started in the right way. Here at Whitetail Sales and Service, we go the extra mile. We could have got anybody to have done day labor stuff and feed our animals, but we decided to choose a very qualified manager. And we have Bryant Kern that's joined our team. And one of Bryant's jobs is not to only take care of this farm, is to take care of your farm. When you get in the deer industry, you need someone to be able to call, to ask questions, to help do pen layouts, to help put business plans together, budget everything in the world that needs to be budgeted, and to treat it like a business. That is Bryant's job. That's what we have him for. And he is there to help you if you decide to get in the deer business. Whitetail sales is far more than just selling whitetail deer. When they sell whitetail deer, there's something else that comes with it. It's called service, customer service. And anybody who's ever bought a deer knows that it's really, really important that if you have a problem with the deer, if you have any questions, you need to call the person that you got it from. Well, Kevin Grace, he'll be on it like white on rice. We're at the end of August in beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. And uh, once again, we're doing a lot of farm tours this time of year. People like to come see the deer just before they come out of Velvet. And we absolutely have a showing here at uh, a couple hours from now with a customer coming out of Springfield, Missouri. I've been out to this farm before where there are people going back and forth and back and forth. I mean, it's like a party out here. There's so many people that want to come out here and take a look at Kevin's deer. And right now, it is the last week of August. The deer are just about finished growing. And so when people come out here, they're looking to buy deer. And if you're looking to buy deer and the borders are open in your state, you may want to consider contacting Kevin Grace at Whitetail Sales. The reason why, he's going to sell you the deer, he's going to service the deer, and he'll deliver you the deer. You know, I'm very fortunate to get my best friend involved in this business. We've been best friends since four years old. He had watched this business grow for, for 20 years. He watched everything around it. He seen I was getting profitable, and one day he asked me, he said, Kevin, I want to get in the deer business. Will you help me? And I said, not only will I help you, we'll partner together. And we bought farmland down there. We moved deer down there. And I feel we have one of the top programs in Florida, if not the country, through that, that uh, joint membership. If you want to get started in the deer farming industry, I would encourage you to start attending deer auctions, deer sales, if you will and Whitetail Sales actually puts on some of the biggest deer sales in the country. The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you in part by New Dart, leading the industry in accuracy. I'm Kevin Grace, and you are watching Deer and Wildlife Stories with Keith Warren. If you just joined us, we're outside of Springfield, Missouri, visiting one of the Show Me State's best known deer farms. This is Whitetail Sales, owned by my friend Kevin Grace. Like every deer farm, there are daily chores to do to make sure that everyone is fed and watered and most importantly in good health. Because as deer farmers, it's our responsibility to provide the best animal husbandry possible. And with healthy deer, means a better deer. While Bryant is doing some chores, Kevin and I are headed to show you some of the bucks. All right, these are some good looking deer now. There are two different tags in them. I see a yellow and a blue. What do they represent? Yeah, the yellow is a three-year-old. Yep. And the light blue is a two-year-old. Okay. okay. Well, in all the years I've been coming over here, I can see something that's, uh, that's changed as I'm looking at the deer. And, uh, and I can tell you right now is that the deer are cleaner and prettier than I've seen in the past. And what's up with that? I agree. Well, we've worked really aggressively at it 
you know, I got on the bandwagon about seven, eight years ago and felt that the industry was leaning more towards a non-typical. And at the end of the day, I don't think that's what a hunter's dreaming of. You know, that's our end market, it's the hunting market. I think they're dreaming of a huge monster typical deer. So I've started breeding with cleaner deer. I'm doing this cleanup with genetics is what I'm doing. I'm breeding with not the largest deer in our pens, but the cleanest. And usually that's some of the smallest deer in a pen, but it's actually, look what it's done in the four years you've been coming here. I mean, I just really like these deer right here. I mean, you've got some non-typicals that, I mean, look at that one right there, that big one with the big drops. I mean, uh, how many generations do you think it's going to take for you to kind of clean everybody up? What do you think? I know that's going to be a tough question to answer. Well, we've done what we've done probably in four generations. Three mm -hmm. to four generations is what we've done here. Three or four more generations will probably clean them up. You know, it's not that a few extras aren't beautiful. Even drops have a lot of shock effect value. But that long tines, that big frame, muley forks occasionally are nice attractions. Like that guy right there with yes. kind of a boogered up ear? That's a beautiful buck right Isn't there. Isn't he? He's got that oh. big frame, 25 inches, give or take, wide, muley well, forks, big frame. If somebody frame, wants square. more information to come out here and, 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 uh, and look at your deer, I want to point something out to you folks, that Kevin could hire a laborer to come out here and just feed the deer. Okay, he could do that. But he doesn't want to do that. He's got a manager out here that if you yep. come out Okay, and Kevin's a busy guy. He's traveling all over the country talking to people about deer, all right? But if you come out here and Kevin's not here, you're gonna meet his manager. And if you wanna call, Kevin, give him the telephone number and so they can call your manager, make an appointment, come out here and, uh, and, and see what Kevin's got. Well, my phone number is 573-230-3746, but my manager's Bryant Kern's phone number is 715-370-6716. And he does the consulting, not just for a ranch, all the people that buy doe programs and buy into our program, he is there 24 hours a day for him. That's why. That's why we don't have a laborer here. Okay, and, and so what that is, this is whitetail sales. Kevin is whitetail sales, and it's service behind the sale. So when you come out here and you take a look at the deer mm -hmm. and say, look, I like that deer, I like that pedigree, that's what I want to breed with, I want to buy some deer from you, you don't just get deer you're gonna get the service that goes with it. You get the program. No one understands anything about raising deer when they first get into it. So they've got a lot of questions and you need someone to call to answer those questions that you can are secure with. Okay, well, as I'm looking at all these deer and I see you turning more and more consistent, uh, typical look, I wanna point out that we just, we were at Mike Mansfield's the other day down in Fort yeah. Myers. Yeah. And I know you're a partner with him and Mike's deer are, are very clean, very pretty, typical deer. Is that part of the program there too? Absolutely. We're both on the same page. You know, we grew up as friends. Yep. So we've known each other since we were four years old, and we've always been on that same path. Hunting, growing up, always like that big typical look. I'm going to tell you something. We were down there, and uh, we started talking about it. And said, Kevin's your mentor in the deer industry. And he said, yeah, he is. And I thought, you know what? At that, I thought, Kevin is a lot of people's mentor in the deer industry. You really are. You have helped a lot of people. And how many people do you think you helped over the years? Oh, I mean, it's hundreds and hundreds. Through the auction service, through our involvement in the deer industry, it's in the hundreds, and maybe it could even be in the thousands. And so the deer industry, really, Kevin has shaped the deer industry to help be what it is today, and he continues to shape it, uh, just like he's continuing to selectively breed the good genetics in here mm -hmm. to, to change the way the deer look. So again, if somebody wants more information, to come out here and to contact your manager, okay? Give them the phone number once again. If you want to come out here and look at the deer at Whitetail Sales just outside of Eldon, Missouri, give them a phone number. Brian's phone number is 715-370-6716. Kevin, I want to tell you thank you. Thank you very much for having us thank out. Thank you, Keith. But more than anything, I want to thank you on behalf of every deer farmer out there because you have helped take the industry to where it is today. And we don't know where it's going. We're all working at this thing together but we all need mentors in the industry to kind of look up to. And I know a lot of people look up to you and thanks again. All right, thank I you. I appreciate Keith. it. Appreciate it. Nice looking deer. So if you've seen something today that really grabs your interest and you want to see if you can be a part of deer farming, you know, give us a call. We would love to hear from you.